Hey guys, so you guys are probably really confused right now on why am I filming with my power shot again and I'm coming back to this. I'm gonna be videoing with this once again and I finally figured out like why like alright so let me explain every, everything. So I stopped videoing with my power shot because of video files glitching, right? So I stopped filming with this just so I don't experience that on my channel. And um, recently, yesterday, I looked up a video, or not yesterday, but today, I looked up a video on how to fix that and uh, realizing that it could work, but then it just kind of wouldn't because sometimes I just used to like, like, I would like the way I found it is that I would need like a command. But like, and I need to download a bunch of stuff. But I feel like it wouldn't be safe because I kind of feel like with command prompts and like stuff like that, it could cause like a virus on my dad's computer because you would need a Windows and he has Windows. So after that, before I figured out the problem on why my files have been glitching, and that is the memory card I have. It's my memory card. Something's wrong with it. I figured out what it was. Something. Or I think it's because like I have like the little micro SD adapter and then like that big adapter, you know? Because that's how you sometimes use memory cards. And then like the way I figured it out is that yesterday, like I went to my friend's house and um, I was filming with this Canon Vixia um, with my memory card and I was making a random video and then all of a sudden it stopped recording after one minute said there was a problem with the memory card. It wasn't even full. Like, I, I formatted it all, because that's how I do every time I make a video. I format it once the video's uploaded. And uh, yeah, so then I tried. we tried it with his memory card, and it lasted more than a minute. So I figured that the memory card could be the problem. So that's why tomorrow I'm gonna be buying a new memory card, 64 gigs, it's just gonna be the big adapter by itself. And I have, like I said, I only have six dollars. Um, oh yeah, and uh, maybe just to, bring up a bit of some confusion right now I need to talk some things right now so let's sit here at my desk and talk about it all because I will have to show you some things on here so the first thing is that I did say okay so I did mention a lot about my Samsung camcorder that I said I was gonna get but apparently that is not gonna happen for some reasons number one my friend apparently cannot give me like all those $25 that he said he was going to give me. He can only give me 5 And if I only have $6.25 plus $5, that's only going to be $11. And the camcorders are only like 30 something. So I'm obviously not going to be able to afford that. So I figured, why not just wait to get a Vixia for my birthday? But then eventually, like, that's probably still going to happen. But then I was like, oh crap, I think I, think I figured out the problem. Cause like I realized like since the files glitched like or didn't glitch or let's say the video stopped filming on his on my friend's Vixia yesterday while my memory card was in it but with his memory cards cause he has those big adapters with like you don't need the micro SD like they didn't glitch and it worked fine so I figured maybe that was the problem and I think it probably is the problem and I'm gonna show you like what type of memory card I have so just to like show you guys so um let's see let's go to um memory card okay so let me show you guys the type of memory card that i have right now so if this doesn't freaking load um okay so as you guys see i have this this adapter right here and I have a six, okay look, so it's a SanDisk adapter like that. And then you have the little like, oh no, what did I just do? All right, go back. And then, oh, okay, I thought I deleted everything, but watch. So I have that adapter, and then I have that right here. I think it could be that, and like the adapter, they may be glitching it, so, the memory card I'm going to get is this one, 
where you see it's just a big adapter. And like, I'm gonna buy that Target. So, um, and I figured, like, they don't run out of memory cards just like that. So, like, oh, what am I doing? I'm not even watching where I'm going. But, uh, let's see. Target.com. So, if we go here, let's look up for, um, oh, no, sorry. I'm legit not even watching what I'm typing in right now. I'm sorry. Memory card. Okay. So, they do have see, 38 items. Let's scroll down here. Uh, cheap ones. I don't want those. No, not 16. I need 6, 30. No. Not, no. That's 32. Oh, wait, what? Okay, so I found this, but I know it's not 64 gigs, is it? Wait, no, I'm gonna say it is not that expensive because I saw, I, I, I saw that like SD card at Target like the day I went out to buy my tripod that I didn't success because it wasn't there. I saw it for only like $10. So, or I might end up buying six, a 16 gigabyte because if I can't, like, if it's too expensive, the cheapest, like, if it actually is $30, then the cheapest, wait, did I open it? Okay. Then the cheapest one I found was only, oh, no, what am, oh, wait, okay, I'm in the right spot. Uh, no, it wasn't that one. I think it was somewhere up here. This one, 16 gigs, and uh, that's only for, like, $10. And then, like, look at, the, like, the 64 one, $29.99. Like it's thirty dollars, so I don't know if it's actually true, because I've other times I've seen it for only ten dollars. But I'm hoping it actually isn't. If it isn't, then I might end up, or I could just end up buying a thirty-two gigabyte memory card. I'll just go for at least the cheapest one that's around ten dollars or so, something. Like if I like if there if the sixty-four gig memory card is at least like thirty, but I see a thirty-two for like ten dollars, maybe I'll go for that one. So, I don't know, it just could be a chance I'll buy 16, 32, or 64 gigs. Because I'm just hoping that the 64 one is actually $10. And not actually, like, 30. And, uh, yeah, that was the memory card. So, the memory card that I have right now is the thing that's making my files glitch. Because I have also been experiencing some problems with that memory card, with the memory card, like, at other times. So, maybe I just need a brand new memory card off the store. So, um... Yeah, that's what apparently caused it, and uh, what I need to do to fix it. Just grab a new memory card, and uh, yeah, so that's another thing. And something else I wanted to talk about was like, alright, so what I did mention that, I'm, that I did say I might get a Canon Vixia for my birthday if I do. Let me show you guys which one though. So, uh, let's open Safari again. I don't know why I closed. I should have just left it open. Um, let's see. Here we go. So, I have talked about this camera a lot. You guys have seen it. Why is it not clicking? There we go. So, this is the one I'm going to be getting if I do. Probably will. I'm going to be getting the Canon Big CHF R400. And as you, does, as you do see, it looks similar to my friend's uh, Canon Big HF R600, just that the zoom is a little, like, a little, like, it's not 57, it's 53, and then that part's gray, and then just that it's a little older. But basically, between, if you compare this, it's, let me search up, like, like, the camcorder that I was using yesterday, like, to play around with. So, uh, oh no. Canon Vixia. Where is it? No, I'm gonna have to keep typing it. I'd, oh no, I put HD instead of HR. Here it is. So, um, the one we were using yesterday, like, oh no, I put videos. What the hell? What am I doing? Okay. So, this is the one we were using yesterday. The Canon, if this doesn't focus, okay. The Canon Vix HF R600. And then let's go over to the other tab. See, there's not really a difference between both. I mean, sure, it looks like the color is kind of different. Because, like, you see that, and then it's that. It's just a little bit different. But other than that, there's no really a difference. And uh, rather, rather than buy, spending, with, like, some more money on the 700, because that's the one. Like, the, the Canon 700 is the one I'm usually talking about. 
But like I found, like this one is good enough to, so you know, like I said, that little gray thing. I did mention it in some of my videos. It reminds me of my Sony camera's design. So, <laughs> and I really enjoyed making videos of that. So that means that this could do well for like, cause I don't have to spend like more money on the 700. I could just go with this one. This one you could find this for about a hundred dollars. So I'm even refurbished for 150. So it's not bad really. So, I might get this camcorder for my birthday, but for now, we're gonna stick with the PowerShell, hopefully. Like, if, alright, so, if the files do end up glitching on that other memory card, like, some of it, like the new one I'm gonna buy, if some files do end up glitching, then I'm gonna have to use that hack that I found on the internet to see to fix it. And, I'm just hoping that I can be able, like, where it doesn't glitch, I'm just hoping it is the memory card problem. So, I think that's going to be it for now, for this video, man, I've been filming for 10 minutes, my hand is hurting right now. Alright guys, so that's it for this video, if you guys liked it, make sure, oh wait, what am I doing, I put the wrong symbol, alright, if you guys like this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below what you guys want to see next, and I will see you guys in the next video, peace out.